Never worked with too much pasta at once. It's just going to get unmanageable. I have a relatively decent wingspan, so to speak. So I can, I can pull out quite a nice long piece, but it does become unmanageable. What you can't do with pasta is then reuse the excess. This stage, I just want to give it, when it's two or three settings away, a light flour. You just don't want it to stick together. Again, don't use too much pasta at the start, otherwise it gets unmanageable. Once you've made your pasta, whether it's tagliatelle, linguine, pappardelle, tortellinis, raviolis, it's very important that it gets stored correctly. You blanch it, you refresh it under running water, you put a little bit of oil over the linguine and tagliatelle, mix it through so that the sugar doesn't stick together, form it into nice little nests, then you want to put it in a nice flat tray that's got a cloth on it so that any excess moisture will get absorbed into the cloth and then cover it either with another cloth or the sheet of cling film. Pasta shapes and sauces, there is a whole intuitive and sort of, you know, heritage driven uh, uh, thing here, which I don't think I'm, I'm party to it in, enough. Um, but ultimately, uh, what you're acknowledging is that pasta that it has two phenomenal qualities. One is its texture and its mouthfeel and its slipperiness and it's, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a sensuous and enjoyable thing to eat that appeals to pretty much the world, whether it's pasta or noodles or whatever. There's something very enjoyable about the, the texture of pasta. And its ability to act as a vehicle for flavor is key. So, what, so whatever you're cooking, whatever shape your pasta is, it is absolutely critical that your, that your, that your sauce um, is is being carried by that by that pasta. So the th sauce has got to be thick enough. Thin linguine, for example, can go with thinner sauces because the nature of the, the way it sits in the bowl and it entangles with itself means it can contract the sauce easy easier. A tube, a big you know garganelli or a or, a, or even a penne needs to have something richer so that the liquid doesn't just wash out of it. Um, but the key thing is to make sure that it's coated with with sauce.